Like, you know, like you, you may have to make it look like you're trying to pin in the guy, you know, and uh, he'll make note of a lot of that when he sees that not happen too, when there's just a casual yeah. pin. And sometimes you'll have a cocky pin to tell the story, but then other times you just like, there's no reason for it. like not having a good pin. One time after this is when uh, TNA, um, the first run through there. So this is like 2012 and um, Bruce Pritchard was there in gorilla and um after yeah you know, when i walked back after my match and i mean he'd been there for a long time too you know long time yeah i walked to the grill position which is wait when you walk by the agents producers after your match and he's he says rob and he, he rob and he, and he calls me over and i'm like oh my god someone's gonna actually say something to me because <laughs> nobody ever gave me any feedback about anything when i was there which is one of the reasons that made it you know, one of the easiest jobs ever, but at the same time, like I just, you know, like I said, I had both runs in TNA. I have no idea how, how the office felt about their investment in me. But anyway, Rob, so, uh, you have something to say about my match? I went, or the, he goes, Rob, after you did the Rolling Thunder, when you covered him, you, you put your, uh, your hands on his, on his shoulder instead of just like laying across them. I said, yeah. He said, yeah, and you were like pressing down on a shoulder with your weight. I said, yeah, I do that every time. He goes, I just, I just want to point that out that I saw that. That was, that was cool. You know, I appreciated that, you know, that difference. Yeah. He meant it as a compliment, but then when I walk away, I, that just showed me that he's never, ever seen me ever, ever do a cover after Rolling Thunder or at the end, even after a frog splash, basically it tells me that he's never watched me or paid attention because I always, always, always do that. Yeah. I've even had feet, I've had heat from some fan, some keyboard fans saying that's disrespectful to not hook their leg, you know, like for the fans and stuff. And um, yeah, somewhere I got along the line of when I lay across them, I put all my weight like on their shoulder to try to hold it down. And and yeah, some you know, he meant it as a compliment. But it came across kind of insulting because I'm like, dude, you're in, you're you're looking at that monitor every match I've had for the last twelve months, and you just noticed that tonight. <laughs> but dude, like I like that too. Like, yeah, making sure you sometimes like I think cooking the leg is not as disrespectful as like if you keep the pin down on the shoulders. That's where you've got to keep ever. It whatever you work the way you work (laughs) whatever you know i don't i don't think everyone should do it the same anyway but i'm trying to hold them down to get the cup to get yeah that's it that's it (laughs) (laughs) jim the dawn chimes in again thank you for for the two dollars thanks jim he says your water spitting promo on triple h was hilarious thanks dude yeah i got a lot of um that's one that goes down in the history books i guess because fans will always find the meme and post it <laughs> talk about it yeah yeah i think it was a combination of who i was picking on making fun of and, and also the fact that it the of what i was pointing out you know like yeah. okay you spit water Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was fun yep 